I'm gonna be sabotaging my books today, so make sure you watch till the end to enjoy watching me do that. Okay, to be honest, sabotaging is a strong word. But I will be remaking the book cover for this book and then putting the book cover on the book. I'm not sure what I just said. But basically, this is like, I'm pretty sure you guys know by now, my all-time favorite series that I just absolutely love. But, and I've read this series, like, I'm reading, rereading it for like the fourth time, third, fourth time. But the cover is absolutely terrible. It's a picture of a book on a book with the most boring handwriting to exist. So I decided it's about time I change that and fix it and make it look nice. Because all the rest of the books in the series, they look fine. This is just, so it's like some... I think I bought it as a second-hand book because I got it back in 2014, so it's pretty old. Wow, that is old. So I need to fix it. It's kind of in theme with what I've been doing lately because recently I made this Harry Potter book nook and I put it like right in between my bookshelf, like not in between my bookshelf, in between my Harry Potter series with fairy lights and everything. Like I saw Nerd Forge, the Nerd Forge do it here on YouTube, then. And I absolutely loved it like so much. I went and made it myself. It took me like over a week of effort. I almost cut myself with a paper knife. I almost burned myself with a glue gun. Got dozens of other paper cuts and stuff. But honestly, it was worth it. I love this so much. Like there's times when I can't stop staring at it. I'm like, OMG, I did this. Like I don't make 3D things. You guys know I've only made like flat paintings on this channel. I'm pretty sure I've only made flat paintings. This was really new for me. It, there, the look varies from daytime to nighttime, but you know, this was the perfect idea for this week's video since I'm like you know in the Harry Potter mood. Anyway, I did this whole thing on sticker paper. I feel like I maybe shouldn't have made it like on thicker paper and then stuck it on the book, but I didn't want to permanently ruin the book because my siblings will want to read it, and if they don't like the cover, they ha should have some way to take it off. So, sticker paper it was. I was really precise about it being precise, that didn't make sense. I was really particular about it being precise, had to sketch out a couple of ideas, and then after quite some time, I didn't show that on camera because you guys would still be sitting around for a long time, but I basically decided to merge the Bloomsbury edition of the book, that cover, along with the scholastic version of the book, and with my own book nook. So I merged all of those together and created this one so it's like not copied off anywhere exactly it's like i don't have a reference picture i just have three different references which are kind of different and i just put those together if that made any sense at all i went with the purple theme because number one most of the harry potter the most of the philosopher's stone books have like a purple theme also i felt like that just fitted even though he visited Diagon Alley in the day but you know we forget that it happened Including the name Philosopher's Stone in the title is going to be tricky. I haven't done that yet because I'm recording this audio before I put it on YouTube, like, duh. But I'm assuming that's going to be kind of tricky because it's a long title. Or Sorcerer's Stone. You know, some people call it Sorcerer's Stone, but I don't know. I've never got comfortable with that. I just find it slightly annoying that there's two names to it. But, eh. This was the kind of stage in the painting where I was like, uh, I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't know what's happening here. And then sadly, like really sadly, the part where I actually made it from like a uh, what is this kind of painting to oh yeah, this looks really good kind of painting. I lost the footage for that. Like I accidentally deleted it because you know, I'm so smart. I just deleted it. And I was just so like, angry and sad that I, when I found out, I'm like, oh, I put in that much effort, probably like two hours of effort or more. I mean, it didn't help me make my video shorter. But I, um, I'm sorry for that. It's further up, like not yet. Right now I'm just painting the Hogwarts silhouette. I was trying to give it like a really floaty kind of foggy feel. I don't think I achieved that, but it's done. It, it looked fine. That was the point. The cobblestone pattern was slightly difficult to achieve. Like I wanted it to look kind of different than what it turned out. 
Wait, no. I just getting the effect that I got eventually took me so many tries. Like a lot of tries. I was sometimes color mixing was a problem because I'm like, uh I don't know where to put this color or how to make this color because some of these colors are slightly tricky. But then, especially for these bricks, I had to like mix three or four different shades just like in the attempt to get the right color. This is like, if you don't know, which I'm sad that you don't, but if you don't know, it's basically the opening to Diagon Alley from the Leaky Cauldron. Off camera, I kind of just painted the back of it because the violet, I just painted it flat violet. I didn't do anything. I will do a second layer. It's just flat out violet. If you're actually attempting this, which I don't know. If you do attempt it, just make sure you watch it till the end to make to not make the same mistakes as I made. Probably should have made, sped up this process a bit because it was the same repetitive thing over and over again. But you know, I didn't because I felt kind of sad about losing the other footage. I wanted to make up for it, which I don't think I did. But you know, just forward it up, go go further up ahead. Just see where I'll put a timestamp for it in the description below. I'll also put a link to my Instagram. Where I posted proper pictures of my Hogwarts thing. The, not Hogwarts. What am I saying? Of my Diagon Alley book nook. It, that'll be in the description. So will my last week's video where I kind of went for Disney. I went, I did Disney this week. I'm going Harry Potter. I have something with like fandoms and characters and just fantasy at this point. My brother and I are actually doing a Harry Potter marathon. We stopped that because I, I don't know what happened. But you know. I had a lot of fun in Scobblestone Road, especially when I got to use this new acrylic marker that I've got. It's not a Bosca pen, it's just an acrylic marker, acrylic paint, and it's written, the names, everything else other than marker is written on it in Chinese. So I can't exactly tell you what company it is, which is kind of sad. See, I made a terrible mistake, I don't even want to say anything, I just, I actually deleted the entire process, like the entire process, all three videos that I had of me build, making the buildings look like buildings and making everything look nice, and then I just lost it. I deleted it. I mean, I, you can see the major difference. Like, before it was all dull and empty, and you're like, oh, this doesn't make much sense. Like, what is this stuff? And now it's gone from that to, like, completely buildings, and I just, I'm upset. I mean, there's nothing I can do now. Just I added in some letters, like flying letters, like the like the letter attack that was on the Dursleys. I really like that part. I haven't actually seen that idea in any other book cover. Not the ones that I've seen anyway. Then I added the leaky cauldron sign. Um, I did this with my book nook as well, so I thought, you know what, just I may as well just do that. made some tiny owls i'm not sure if they look like owls or not but you know they're meant to be owls uh, made a bit of a hogwarts not silhouette because it's lighter than the background but like a lighter version of hog just you get it a hogwarts on the back just so that it's not completely empty so after that i just went into photoshop used some harry potter text cut out well not cut out typed out the back description of the book the title jk rowling and everything Cut it out, that's what I'm doing right now. Which is slightly more annoying than I originally first imagined it to be, but... I did want to make the text golden, but my golden marker was so thick, I couldn't possibly do that with the small handwriting. So I just did it on the title and J.K. Rowling. Philosopher's Stone as well, I couldn't actually put any golden on it.
Putting the sticker on was trickier than I first imagined. I had to take it off like three or four times, tried a couple of different techniques. This part honestly went fine. I mean, there were a few wrinkles, but it was fine. It looked fine. This, the, the, hmm. I mean, for the most part, it looks fine. Like, like it looks fine, right? Um. Yeah, I wouldn't be coming back from this ever. I I was destroying two days of hard work, but you know the front. It looks amazing. I am so happy with this. I'm like so happy. Like you guys don't even know. Like for seven years, I've had this book. I've hated the cover, and finally, after seven years, I managed to fix it. Okay, no, I haven't fixed it because the back is terrible. Like it's completely terrible. Like, what is that kind of terrible? I mean, you could kind of make it feel like it's some sort of cobweb effect on the back, or like something but you know I don't like that idea but we're not going to focus on that we're going I did add the title on the side but we're not going to focus on any of that negativity we're going to focus on the front cover and how amazing it looks and how happy I am with it I, I, I then I put it on display right on top of my book nook this is where it's going to sit and live because the back is too bad to be seen I'm just really pleased with how this thing looks. Like, you guys don't even know how happy I am right now. Seven years. It took me seven years. But I've finally done it. I might just do it on some other books. Who knows? Like, share, and subscribe. 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 Bye.